Lawrence of Explorers. All right, so today's video, we explore the house that stands, or what's left standing behind me, this pile of debris. Uh, the pile of debris you see was formerly a 7,000 square foot house. Um, this is where I'm gonna tell you all about it. I'm gonna tell you its history. I'm gonna tell you everything. I'm gonna give you a little history lesson before we jump into this video. So this house, 7,000 square foot house that sat on 10 acres of property. Uh, it was built in 1983 by the De Silva family, Joseph De Silva, or they call them Joey De Silva. Um, De Silva, I've actually, it may have been Silva, not De Silva. I believe it was just Silva. And they built this house for him and his wife. I believe he had three or four kids. I believe it was three children who lived in this house. And they, uh, they lived here for only a short time. They only lived here about 10 years. Around 1993, Joey listed the house and it sold to the Hines family. Now, to talk about the, the Silva family, uh, he owned a home building company and like a hardware or like a homes, like building supplies company here in town. And uh, he was the big boss and this was the king's castle per se. Um, Anyways, back in 1993, the De Silva's, I keep saying De Silva, it's Silva. The Silva's sold this house in 93 um, for $455,000. Now, obviously in the early 90s, that's a lot of money. But if by today's standards here, that is nothing. That is dirt cheap. Uh, so they paid four fifty five for the house in 93. I really couldn't find much about the Heinz family. Um, other than that, they lived here from around 93 until around 2001 when they listed it for sale. Uh, they listed it in the $700,000 range, but it ended up selling for around six fifty five dollars to the Ballahood family. Now, the Ballahoods, it was Mr. Ballahood, Mrs. Ballahood, and I believe they had three or four children as well. Uh, they resided here from 2002 to around 2018. The developer purchased this house in March of 2018 for four million dollars. Uh, a developer that goes by the name of Andron Holmes. Um, they bought it in 2018. Now, however, the Bollivans still had possession of this house for years to follow. Uh, today, it's the end of 2023. It was just demolished this past week. Today, Saturday, it was demolished just this past throughout the week. Uh, but the Bollivans, anyways, they, they, they had possession of this property until uh, this year uh, and you know they, they, they run a contracting company so they that shop you see right there they stored their, their supplies and stuff there and this house was still not technically abandoned it was it was it, the power was always on it was the grass was always maintained I remember one day they're out here trimming trees and bushes and making it look nice they, they maintain this house and it goes to show that even though they weren't living here how much they loved this place how much they cared about it to maintain it and you know put that effort in so uh so anyways they were the last owners there was three families to own this house in 40 years um, the inside for the most part remained untouched from original construction i did see photos of it um, from back around 1994 uh, furnished and whatnot and the place looked exactly the same no different anything uh, so what you're about to see in this video is how the house was built in 1883 uh, this was a top quality home. It was well built and the reason I can tell you it was well built was because when I sat here and watched them demolish it, you could just see the layers and just the effort and the construction methods that went into this build to show it was a quality built home. Uh, and it's such a shame that it was demolished. Now, time for a little personal note. So, <clears throat> I've lived in this town for all my life. Uh, majority of my life at least and I have probably passed this house thousands of times throughout my life almost every day I go past this house to leave and to go home and back around 2018 I moved super close to here and I I already liked it as a kid I always thought it was a nice house but around 2018 I fell in love with it okay I I don't know, it's my dream home. It's still in a pile, it still is, okay? This is my dream home and one day I will rebuild it. 
uh, and I, I, I just, there was something about it, just the grand, you know, vibe it gave off with the fountain and the pillars and the big balcony and the big, you know, red brick and just, it was so big and grand. And uh, there was just always something about this place that, 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 that and it, I loved. And it was always a mystery to me of what does the inside look like? I had to know. As a young kid, I always just wanted to know what does the inside of this place look like? The curiosity was killing me. And I, I, I finally got that chance and to see it and, and it did not disappoint one bit. Everything was incredible as I imagined it would be. The, the, I think my favorite part about this house was the front foyer. You're gonna see in the video, the staircase, the, the chandelier, the, the, the wallpaper, the, the banister, the, the railing, just everything. The wall sconces, it's so perfectly well done. 80s class, it, it's something like, it reminds me of something like Tony Soprano would live in or or the guy from, Jordan Belfort from, uh, that movie that I'm drawing a blank, uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Like, I, it's just so grand and such top of the line for its day. And it's such a shame that somebody didn't see the potential that was here to, to make it home again. It, it, it's heartbreaking. Because I know if I had the funds, I would spend every last penny I had on this place and, and, and live here for the rest of my life. It was just perfection. But unfortunately, that is no longer possible. However, one day I am going to do everything I can and strive to be so great that I have the uh, monetary opportunity to rebuild what once stood behind me. Um, it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna have to get a copy of Blueprint somehow. Um, it's gonna require a lot of work and a lot of money, but one day that is my ultimate goal. My dream goal in life is to rebuild this beast that once stood behind me. Um, this is a really long intro, but it's well deserving of it. Um, so where was I? On a personal note, that's right. So, um, yeah, driving past this place every day, I was simply in love with it. And, uh, you know, when, when the time came that it was, it was vacant, you know, and, and, and it was, you know, and mostly this, this would be this year, the last 10 months-ish, I would always come by and stop and make sure the doors were closed, make sure the windows were shut, make sure everything was secured, and uh, made sure everything was, you know, away from people who were gonna, you know, destroy it or damage it. And in, in the grand scheme of things, that shouldn't have mattered because A, I don't own it, it's not my responsibility. And it was gonna be demolished, so most people would say, well, who cares? I care because I believe that I'm a good person and I believe that, that you know, when you, when you care about something enough and you love something, you're gonna do everything you can in your power to make sure that it's, it's in your eyes safe and away from potential danger and damages. So you can imagine when I came by this past Monday morning, drove by, and there was an excavator ripping into the garage roof where the nanny's quarters used to be. You can imagine my initial holy shit, right? Uh, so I stopped. I got a bunch of demo footage from a bunch of different days this week. You guys will see at the end of this video. Um, but I just wanted to make this video special. I wanted to make it good. I, I, I just, I've been waiting to post this video for five years now, over five years almost. Um, and I just want to, on a personal note, now that it's gone and I just, I want to say something. If anybody from the Silva family, from the Heinz family or the Ballwood family sees this video at any point in time, I just want to say, first of all, I'm jealous that you got to live here. This is so, so cool. But uh, you guys all took such great care of this place throughout its 40 years of life. And it, and it makes me so happy that it got to stay in its original state for the most part for its entire life. It was a short life. It was only 40 years. It's not long for a house. And I just want to say to, to anybody who's, you know, lived here, part of that, those families, you know, I normally I wouldn't, you know, reach out and say anything like this, but uh, I just want to say that I, I, I'm very envious, very jealous of you guys. Uh, you guys have a beautiful, beautiful home, and uh, it's a shame to see it gone. It's heartbreaking. Uh, I love this place to death, but uh, she's gone. As you can see, they'll clean this up next week. Today's Saturday. They'll start probably Monday. Clean it up. Dig it the basement out. And, It'd be like it was never here so longest intro I think I've ever given but well deserving I think uh, it's cold I got stuff to do so I'm uh, gonna head out but I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I've actually got three versions of this house that I'm gonna post through a time I have the one you're gonna see now I have a nighttime visit and I have a video of after the fire broke out yeah there was a fire you're not gonna see that in this video but I'm gonna leave you on a cliffhanger that'll come probably sometime in 2024 um, so uh, anyways, that's it. 
I think that's it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, this video means a lot to me. I've anticipated posting this for a very long time. Uh, so enjoy the video, guys, and I'll see you guys inside. Okay, guys. Big, important video here. And no better place to start off than the front door. Um, so double doors, beautiful double doors. And just like, like I told you, the, the detail, in like every square foot of this place is just more than impressive. Crown molding, this like oak, wood, So you come in the front door and this is what you're greeted with. So pretend you're walking in. Okay, fancy floors, first of all. But look at this. Like what? Incredible. Massive front foyer. You have wall sconces like everywhere. Chandeliers, crown molding. Fancy, like, trimmed wallpaper. Let's go this way first. Beautiful staircase. Oak, very, like, nice, real, finished oak. Nice, big, thick oak trims. They did not spare a single expense constructing this. Here's the dining room, I would think. Or no, probably not the dining room. We're not even near the kitchen, so this is probably the family room. Just like a front sitting room. Look at that. Don't really need to do much talking, I don't think. That explains itself. Honestly, I could probably walk around here in silence and there would be no words that, uh, you know, could do this place any more justice than just a silent walk through. The molding everywhere. Big fancy curtains, crown molding, like, look at that. Parquet floors. I can't imagine, like, imagine, like, owning a house like this and then just, like, having to fill rooms of this size, like, numerous rooms this big. I just, the furniture alone would cost you thousands. See, there was French doors here at one point. What was that? Hmm. Look at that. So 80s, the curved brick, hardwood floors. This room was originally um, not hardwood floors. Um, I read a real estate listing from back in the 90s and this used to be carpet. <laughs> Walk out to the deck in the back.
You guys heard that, right? <sighs> First explore I've done in a couple weeks. And I don't want to be on edge, for fuck's sakes. Well, I guess we kind of walked through the kitchen. <laughs> it's been completely gutted, unfortunately. That. Like, that doesn't sound like a dying smoke alarm. Hello? Weird. Anyways, let's just try and get through this. I don't want to be nervous and rush through it now, but... Maybe it is a smoke alarm. Anyways, I... Kitchen. It's all gutted. Except for the island and this. So you get an idea what the cabinets would have looked like. And then they ripped all that drywall off, probably because there was copper pipes or something behind there. That's behind the stairs. Yeah. I like the tile. That's nice. Would have been a nice old stove top here. You got like your little eat-in kitchen. Breakfast room, I guess you'd call it. Oh no, is that window broken? There's glass on the floor. Huge. Fucking huge. <laughs> 7,000 square feet. I think I gave all the info in my uh, intro. The place is 7,000 square feet. Back to the foyer. This would have been the dining room. Right off the kitchen, for sure. Chandelier's gone, but... Sconces. Ooh, water damage. Why wouldn't they just make the room even and it's probably a closet on the other side or something. It's gotta be. Same wallpaper that's, um... See, I swear to God, I hear something. Like... It's a big house and it's cold. It could just be creaking, but... And I'm not just talking about that beep either, the squeak or whatever it is. Like, there's a, there's a noise. Like, it sounds like someone, like, quietly kind of, like, walking. But there was no, like, footprints in the snow. So I don't think it's possible that anyone's here. What is that? Oh, what the heck? Oh, it goes behind the stairs. Oh, that's where they cut the hole in the kitchen wall. Okay, makes sense now. Extra, like, closet space. What's up, guys? Weird little hallway. What a waste of space. Nice chandelier. Oh, there's that way and there's this way. Let's go this way. Damn dark. Oh, there's the basement. Just like pointless holes in the wall. That's cool, I guess. A little like den. Random little room. Look at this chandelier. Is that door open? No, it's just loose. Like, look at this hallway. Three chandeliers alone. So pointless. Like, this hallway. Like, it's just... Weird design. 
really weird design. Bathroom. It's pretty plain looking, honestly. Nothing special. Maybe I'll include a clip of that better with lighting. I want to make sure we cover that, but I don't want to end the clip and restart it. Laundry room. I like how it's like there's doors you can close, so it's like hidden away. That goes back up to the kitchen. Those 80s ball lights. That door's open too. What the? Jeez, man. What the hell's going on in here? Will that shut if I. Oh, it's fucked up. That's why. It was forced open, anyways, it looks like. Car garage. Oh, there's the French doors. Oops, there's the French doors. That would have been in the rooms throughout the house. Where do they divided them like that? It's cool, but it's different. What the hell? Oh my god, it's frozen. It's flooded, but it's frozen. Oh my god. Okay, we're not going down there. What the hell? I've never seen that before. A little like storage under the garage. Weird. So many shelves. Good to have storage, right? You can never have too much storage. <laughs> Thinking we go up here and we'll Go down the main stairs at the other end. Wow. <laughs> oh, there is footprints in the snow. Where do they go? They go to the shop, to that side of the shop. Weird. So this would have been the nanny's quarters. For sure. Fireplace. I don't like these angled walls. I know you guys know that. Like little like creepy spaces, like friggin' like this. Hell no. <laughs> Not a chance in hell. Bathroom. And closet. Okay, so there's a door that shuts off the nanny suite area. Oh, holy shit, this is huge. Okay, it's just a bedroom. Blue carpet. Pretty basic, pretty plain. Oh, pink. <laughs> Nothing special here, but big though, for a kid's room. Blue carpet's kind of cool. Intercom. 
Another bedroom, a little smaller. Not much smaller, but a little bit. <sighs> Interesting, a cowboy themed wallpaper. Off the wood doors, man. Weird little hanging thing there. Like you have a closet, why would you need? I mean, I guess if you need additional space. Ooh, would you like that voice crack? <laughs> Wallpaper's starting to peel. You can see it. What a big, creepy, long hallway. Jeez. Take another step up. Okay, this room's even bigger. I guess they're tearing the carpet up now. Two big windows, huge room, nice wallpaper, <laughs> cream car uh, colored carpet, very 1980s, very cool. <laughs> Bathroom, what's up, guys? Oh, you got like a tub, two piece uh, toilet, and bidet. Hopefully 1983. Yeah, the people who lived here last definitely um, definitely took care of this place. For it to be as old as it is and in most of its original state, and it's and it's still in this good a shape, even after sitting for a while, this is... I commend them on uh, taking such good care of this place. Where's that go? Nowhere, apparently. That ain't opening. Holes in the wall. I'll probably get the copper out. Wow. Holy crap. Let's board it up. Can't open the balcony door. We're would have went there, but look at that. Jesus. That's amazing. I've wanted to show you guys this house for a long time. Such a shame that it's gotta go down. Are they black blinds? Wow. <laughs> So old school, man. Wow. Random little cute little closet. Waste of space again. Why not just make this area bigger? I oh my god. <laughs> That's the master bedroom. <laughs> so this would have been the bed here. Yeah, and your TV would have been there. You can see like where the dresser was. Bed would have been probably here. Chandelier. Look at the black painted ceilings with the molding. Wow. 80s luxury at its peak. Fireplace. Look at all the marble. What's up, guys? 10 acre lot, it's pretty decent. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. What's up guys, this is amazing. Can we get a what is up you guys? <laughs> oh my God. Big bathroom for this tiny little shower. <laughs> nice jacuzzi with the mirror. That's a very 80s trend. These were nice. I've seen real estate photos and whatnot. Crown molding. Whole nine yards in here. Holy shit. Oh, and then a big walk-in closet. 
No his in her closet, which I thought was kind of odd. But, wow. Okie dokie. Heard a chokey. All we gotta do now is the basement. Which was where again? This place is a damn maze. What was that? Oh, it was my reflection. I just gave myself a heart attack. Okay. Let's go down here first. Oh, it's dark in here. I'm gonna need to pause this and put a light on, guys. Okay, before I forgot, guys. Almost forgot this bathroom with the light. 80s gray sink and toilet and tub. I had to show it. Nice tile. Of course, what's up, guys? But nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, but just thought I'd add it, throw it in. All right. Oh, wow. Hot tub. Look at the diamond shaped mirrors. That would have been a sauna. You can still smell it. That it was a sauna. That's just a electrical and plumbing stuff. That's not full in there. That is so deep. That is way deeper than it looks on camera. That's probably five feet deep. Oh, that's the flooded area that goes under the garage. Oh, look at the mold. Oof. Okay. Okay, that goes to the nanny's stairs. Electrical room, probably a little closet. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy curtains. <laughs> What's in here? Don't wanna miss this. Yeah, people have definitely been in here like ripping holes in the wall for like copper and stuff. Little like kitchenette. Oh, it was an Italian thing to have a second kitchen in the basement, so it makes sense. This house was built by Italians after all. Little shelf. I like this area. Very cool. Furnace. Water tank. Oh, wow, this is torn to hell. Look at the glass block bar. Holy crap. That is fucking awesome. Got the red brick on the bottom with the glass block on the top. All the mirrors. What's up, guys? What is up, you guys? <laughs> wow. Yeah, this place has about every 80s feature. Glass blocks. Mirrors. A bit of mirrors everywhere. Fancy tiling. Oak. Friggin' wood trim and stairs, weird brick fireplaces, the whole nine yards. Wavy looking. It's like, you know, I think that does it, guys. I'm gonna do the outro in the car because I wanna do some proper talking and focus on what I'm talking about. But wow, I'm glad we were able to uh, get this one done. So let's, um, let's head up. Let's go, no, let's go up here. Salvage the steps, probably nice marble. Okay, that's gonna do it, guys. All right, here's a little exterior walk around. Three car garage, that's the nanny suite up there. So overgrown, my gosh. Yeah, there's the fountain. They have this like tennis court printed on the front driveway. It's kind of weird. There it is. Oh wow, the grass, that's insane. There used to be little like cherubs and stuff in the fountain that they took out. Understandable. 
there it is. Big grand steps up to the door, pillars. That's the balcony up there. Just see how grand these front doors are even. Like the handles. There's the intercom. This is all gonna be um, torn down. It's gonna probably just be redeveloped. But, not bad. All right guys, that does it for this adventure. Revisit it, obviously. Um, you probably won't see this for a very long time because you're gonna see the first explore first as before there's fire damage or anything. Um, and I don't even know when that's gonna be posted because I don't know when it's gonna be demolished because I'm not posting this until it's gone. So um, that's uh, a little while away before you see this, I'm sure. But anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it's pretty sad, like the fire, that's so sad. Um, it's heartbreaking because it's like, this was such a nice place and I don't know if this was intentionally set, I don't know, maybe if it was used for, for fire training or whatever, but it's just, it's so sad to see such a place like this in its, in its current state. And obviously it's going to be worse. It's going to be completely demolished. So, um, glad I could bring you guys along. Um, this is a very, very special house to me, very important house to me. So, um, you know, it's in my hometown, so it's like... I've passed this house thousands and thousands of times throughout my entire life and I've always just had a fascination with it. So um, that's it though, I'm going to try and keep this short. So if you like this video, uh, smash the like button, drop a comment. Um, as of this recording, we're like 150, 140 subscribers from 100k, but I'm sure we'll be passed up by the time you see this. So just thank you guys so much for, for all your support, you guys sharing the videos, commenting on the videos, liking the videos, watching the videos you know, helping me get to a point that, you know, we've been able to accomplish what we have in three, three years, three and a half years, I think. So, um, it's just super special. It really means a lot. Um, yeah, it means a lot. So thank you guys, uh, so much for everything. And, um, I think that's it. So I'm going to leave you guys on that note. Uh, Stay safe, and I'll catch you guys on the next adventure. Peace. All right, guys. This is a tough one to watch go, but I, I promised myself I wouldn't post a YouTube video or an Instagram post or a TikTok post of this house until it was gone to do my very best to keep vandals away from it, to keep undesirables away, to keep it from flooding and becoming the next big location and I think I did a pretty good job but as you can see today is November 21st 2023 and 2404 Bowenville Avenue has finally fallen 1983 to 2023 40 long years of this gorgeous house standing atop the hill at Longworth and Highway Regional Road 57 here in my hometown of Bowmanville. It's a sad day to see her go, really, but if you try to look at it positively, they're gonna put a lot of new homes here. But then again, you can't you can't you can't replicate this. So here's what's left so far unbelievable wow all right guys a little update here's where we're at see the staircase now always all open pretty crazy Alright guys, so 
So today's Saturday, the 25th of November, 2023, and it is gone. She's completely demolished. That is insane. There's the fountain. There's what would have been, I believe that was the, yeah, that was the steps that like the big steps that went right up the middle here to the, the front entrance, which would have been like there, I think. That's insane. Oh, those scrap metal. There's a lot of scrap metal. Jeez. Trees. And there is the hole that is the basement. Oh, there's the old contracting sign for the family that lived here. That's lovely. Um, that is just depressing. My lord. Oh, they're starting to tear the shop down. doesn't even look like the same place like it the site looks so much smaller with no house i don't really know how to explain it some carpet for you oh look at this we'd be in the basement fireplace was there this a wood floor <laughs> I see roof I see carpet hey there's the the rug that was up on the steps by the balcony doors on the top floor <laughs> and glass Yeah, everything. I see wood floor, I see just everything. Obviously, it's a demo side. It's not Captain Obvious, you know, but look at that. They even got some, some copper. You've got glass. You've got, oh my God. It's just so sad. It, This was all like balcony and stuff. So that's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's the side of the fireplace. See like the clumps of brick? That was all fireplace. There's the fireplace. See the circular brick part there? Like, I don't know, I think this stuff, like it's cool to see this from like, this perspective because you get an idea of like what was and just like a different look on it. But I just wanted to inform you guys, show you guys. We're trying to keep up to date with the demo. And uh, this is really sad. This is really hard for me, but nothing you can do. So I'm trying to think. So. That was the garage, so that means this, the basement's third. Hey, there's the hot tub. Oop, hot tub. I wonder if the glass block bar is still there, if that was destroyed. I assume that's probably mangled, but. There you go, if you want a piece of carpet. There you go. Some fresh rug. Okay. I just wanted to show you guys that and throw it into the video. Hope you guys have a good day.
and I'm also going to include this. I don't think I explored the, the shop in my initial video. I don't know why, I just I just didn't. So if I can get in, I'm going to include this. Obviously, you can see like the back part of it here is it's, it's demolished. Um, but I think it might be open here at the side, and if it is, I'm going to show what's left. The, 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 the better part's still there. Uh, oh, maybe we can't get in. No, we can't. That's fine. But you've got, like, stuff. That's all it was. There's a shop. It's got, like, a little oil change area underneath that piece of plywood. You can go under and do, like, oil changes and stuff in here. It's really, really cool. But um, that's, that's all that's in here. There's an old, like, boom box there. If I already recorded this, I'm probably going to throw this into the video anyways, because just to see like the before and after of like be, being demolished and whatever, but, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to, there you go. Look at the size of this goddamn thing. I'm sorry to say God, God like that, but like, like that is huge. No wonder that rips into a house so freaking easily. Pile of brick. Is that the fireplace? <laughs> That's the fireplace. You can see it's all clumped together. That's definitely fireplace brick. <laughs> Made in Canada, 1983. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Security cameras in use. Don't think that's going to come in much help now. But... Okay, it is two. No, it is not Tuesday. It is Saturday. What the hell am I saying? Uh, December 2nd, 2023. And uh, this is what is remains of the house. Uh, so it was demolished on the 21st of November, as you'll see in the clips previous to this. Uh, and yeah, this is what's left. So we'd be standing facing the garage. The three garage doors, we'd be facing them right now. Um, and that's what's left. They have dug out the foundation. The basement is all gone. You have a little bit of like rock and concrete left there. And then over there you have like the, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, I'm just getting over a cold, uh, pile of like the, the, the rock from like the uh, steps at the front door. But other than that, it's gone, right? The tree house was right there, gone. There's the big shop right there, it's gone. You have some like, uh, the wood left from when they tore like the tree house down and then some trees and stuff that have, you know, sat around that probably just gonna be, uh, shredded up but over here you have the that's the remains of the brick pillars that were down at the end of the driveway they got rid of those a couple days ago but uh sorry i'm just trying to get the, the mud off my white sh nike shoes i'm an idiot i know um but that's what's left um but that is what's left it's 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 like i'm speechless it's 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 depressing to see this um we're gonna go around the front and then i'm gonna get the hell out of here because uh, it's getting cold and my hands are freezing. So, um, we're going to go around the front. So, obviously, here's your driveway. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have this in the, in the, in the video. You'll see that when the house was still here, me walking up this way. But, uh, well, you'll see that prior to this clip. So, uh, anyways, they, you'd face in the front of it there. Okay, this is just concrete that remains from the, the steps. What is that? The thermostat. The thermostat survived okay yeah this is the concrete from the steps hey they left the fountain that was nice of them all the concrete like wiring some glass anyways so you can see here this concrete kind of like foundation here this is where the big steps would have started that led up to the front door and uh That, that's insane. I, it's, it's, it leaves me speechless. It really does. Um, this is a 10 acre property. So this is going to be redeveloped. Um, you can kind of see like there's cars here. That, there's a road that goes, it's going to go straight through here. And then that house is going to be demolished on the other side of those trees eventually. And this is all going to be redeveloped into like houses and stuff. And, um, you know, redeveloped 
and unfortunately my hometown is quickly turning into an overpopulated busy traffic jam and uh i kind of hate it so what's this is this actually the thermostat i think that's cool anyways i should probably head out i've been here long enough i think uh, nothing really to see anymore uh, So this is probably the last update I'll give you because the video will be posted sometime this month um, And then uh, I, I have three videos of this house to post I have a daytime visit a nighttime visit and then a visit to where there was a change And I'm not gonna give that away because then that would ruin the excitement, but that's it guys Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys on the next explore